and welcome back. Today we're gonna be going through this one a little bit deeper. Want to show you guys how this works with um, Disney Plus, how to log in and how to log out. It's very interesting what this thing does. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys all the steps. It's not as easy as you think. The login simple, not the other way around. So let's go ahead and set this guy up and 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 see how it works. Okay, here we go. So you got the projector. We're gonna come down here to Disney Plus. Give it a few seconds. It doesn't take that long for it to load. Now it's going to ask you if you want to get the app. So you want to just come here and hit get. And then it's going to start installing it. So just give it a few minutes. It just depends on your Wi-Fi speeds on your internet to see how fast it goes. For me, it's taking, uh, it, it took maybe like a minute for this to, to even do anything. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And it looks like I'm now ready to sign in. So just come down here to log in on the bottom left hand corner. You got sign up or log in. I'm gonna click log in. And then from here, you're gonna put in your email and then your password. And that's pretty much it, very simple. Now, once you do put your email in, it's just gonna say enter your password. Um, just click on it again, and then you should be able to put in your password. And there you go, once you're signed in, you are ready to start watching. Now, obviously I can't play anything um, from here, but if you did want to log out, just hit that back button on your remote. Now, the only thing I can't find is uh, there's no way for me to access the left side of the menu. So as you guys know, the left side of the menu has, um, you know, it has all the movies, TV shows, it has everything like organized for you and stuff, and I can't get to it. Um, I can move left and right, but I can't move any further left. And then even if I push that back button on the remote, or there's a settings button, if I hit that settings button, it does nothing for me either. And if I hit that back button, what it's gonna do is as soon as I hit the back button once, it doesn't do anything for me at all. So it just kind of kicks me out, that's all it does. So if you do need to log out, um, and this is why exactly why I've been saying you need to upgrade this remote to get something a little bit different, you wanna go to settings, you wanna go to options, come down all the way to system, come over here to device preferences, come all the way down to storage, and then internal shared storage, and then just go to apps. Now, once you come here, look for Disney Plus. You wanna four stop, hit okay. Clear cache, hit okay. Clear data, hit okay. And then if you open it from here, it's gonna ask you to log back in again. And there you go. Now you can log right back in all over again. And I hope you guys appreciate today's content. Try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest stuff. Projector works pretty good. It just has a couple little hiccups here and there. Um, but other than that, it's, it's going to be fine. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. What do you guys think with this device so far? Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider to subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. As always, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.